Well, it is that time of year again. Holiday travelers should be ready for busy roads and possible slowdowns as millions head out for their Thanksgiving. That's right. AAA is estimating nearly 49 million Americans are driving for the holiday this year. In fact, 2022 is expected to be the third busiest year for Thanksgiving travel since AAA began tracking the data back in the year 2000. As someone who knows all about this, let's bring in CBS News correspondent Chris Van Cleve, who is on the road for us right now. He is in the Philadelphia area. And Chris, I have a lot of questions for you, but first I got to ask you, who has chosen the playlist for this ride? <laughs> That's an important question. <laughs> well, I'm, because we keep talking to you guys, we don't really get to enjoy the music because ah. we can't be jamming out and talking to you. <laughs> well, thank you for making that so sacrifice. I blame Errol. <laughs> uh, all right, Chris, so let me ask you about this. What are you seeing on the road right now, and what can drivers expect if they are traveling today? You know, if you're driving today, you have probably missed the best window to get where you're going quickly and easily. You know, that said, we, we've had a pretty smooth drive, minus a couple of wrong turns along the way. Um, but we expect traffic volume to get heavier as the day goes on. Folks who were working today uh, may be hitting the road at, at, at the end of the day. And, you know, we see the, the project, per projections are that as we get into the afternoon, into the traditional rush hour times, you may see uh, not only the regular rush hour, but traffic volumes at double that in many metropolitan areas across the country, New York, D.C., Houston, Seattle, Los Angeles, Atlanta, to name a few. Look, what's cool about driving with Chris right now, beyond the fact that he's complaining about me because there's no music, <laughs> is you get to see the cool bridges in the background. It may have been the Betsy Ross Bridge. I'm not sure. Uh, massive freighter behind you, too. Chris, most people are doing what you're doing, right? Heading out on the roads to get to their friends and family. Uh, but a fair number of folks will be headed to the airports as well. What should passengers expect who are flying to their Thanksgiving spots? You know, the Thanksgiving holiday is traditionally one of the very busiest times for the airlines. So this is really kind of a big test for the U.S. carriers after what was a rough summer where there were a lot of cancellations and delays. Uh, staffing played a huge part of that. And we can tell you the, the U.S. airlines have done very, very well. We're talking about uh, United yesterday told us they didn't cancel a single flight. Mm -hmm. um, American Airlines operated, uh, I think they said 99.5 percent of their flights. Uh, so you, you've had very few cancellations and relatively few delays the last few days, even though you have seen passenger volumes uh, even outpacing 2019, which was the second busiest Thanksgiving since AAA has been keeping track. So yeah. uh, the, the airlines so far are working very well. Now, you're going to find full planes and busy airports. So you need to just be prepared that uh, it might be a little bit busier and a little bit slower going to get through security um, or the, the line at the airport. Starbucks, which always seems apocalyptic, <laughs> will be a little bit longer. Um, so that, that little bit of grace and patience is something that you want to have with you. But those uh, figures for delays and cancellations, I mean, those are impressive, uh, especially at this time of year. Uh, looking ahead, I know the days after Thanksgiving are also incredibly busy. So what can people do now to make heading home a little less stressful for everyone? You know, uh, well, certainly drivers are going to benefit from a little bit of a tick down in gas prices that we have seen. But the gas prices remain high. So uh, what we hear a lot from the state police and AAA is plan your drive. Know where you're going. Know what the most efficient route is and know where you can stop for gas and food uh, so you're not getting on and off the freeway, hunting around, uh, you know, and, 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 and dealing with that kind of distraction. Um, best times to leave if you're driving typically would be Saturday afternoon, Sunday morning early, Sunday night late, or if you can push it into Monday, uh, that's an option. The airlines expect to be very, very busy both Sunday and Monday. You know, one of the things we've seen is as uh, we come out of the pandemic, more people have flexible work schedules, mm -hmm. so they're able to leave earlier or stay later. So we've seen the travel season sort of get elongated mm -hmm. uh, as people have more flexibility as to when they travel. It is nice to see everyone coming together with their families after the past couple of years. Uh, Chris, thank you very much. Also, Chris, I was going to say, uh, 90s throwback is always my go-to playlist. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Chris. We can, we can probably put on the 90s on nine here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. All right, Chris, thank you. Thank you.